Did you know that Northern Arizona is full of vineyards and great wineries? Today, we're going to take a road trip down to Page Springs and visit Havelina Leap Vineyards. And speaking of road trip, here's what it's like to go on one with Mark. I don't know about you, but that's a top 40 hit if they still do top 40 hits. So here we are at the Havelina Leap Vineyard. It looks a little bit more like Hermit Harry's to me. <laughs> really? I mean, come on. I don't even know what that means. It's cute, though. I think it's adorable. No, it's cute. Look at the cool steps. I know. Well, wait till we get inside. Don't, don't, don't trip. Yeah, well, you don't trip. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. So you can tell we've got our masks on because this is obviously uh, 2020, and we've got to uh, consider... Staying safe for COVID. Yeah, we are safe. We're going to do some pirouettes as we first come in just to announce ourselves here at Havelina Leap. Oh my gosh. Okay, so in Havelina Leap, they actually have been around for a little bit and they are in the Page Springs area. Um, The Havelina Leap Vineyards has award-winning wines. Now we're about to step into their private tasting room, so you can actually rent this out you can have private events in here and it looks like just a fun place to be with people look at she's even got her dog the little pupper (laughs) yeah i mean so it's kind of a really neat area it's in this uh, lush verde river valley area and havelina leap actually has a hundred barrel capacity cellar and Everything that they do is done right on site. So the grapes are picked, distemmed, fermented, pressed, aged, bottled, and labeled. Everything right on site. So let's head inside and see the different kinds of wines that they offer and experience a tasting together. Wines to do a flight. There is one white at the top, a nice crisp Sauvignon Blanc, followed by a chili dry rosé, and the rest are reds. In place of the one I crossed off, I have Cabernet Sauvignon today. Tuscan wine making. Okay, I gotta try that one. Which one? The next one down. I'm just going right down the line. Sangiovese, <laughs> eh? Yeah, I didn't even want to attempt to say that. So, how do you say that? Sangiovese. Okay, so how about the rock slide? I'll try I that think one. you should do the rock slide. Okay, and then which one do you recommend of the ones? I, I love the Syrah, the last one. Alright, let's do it. Cabernet Merlot blend on the rock slide. Syrah, nice peppery note on the finish, typical of Syrah. There it is. Go to town. There it is. Different (laughs) hues. All right, we're going to start with the white. For sure. Cheers. (laughs) All right, so today's Arizona adventure, we're at Havelina Leap. And I'm doing a little wine tasting. Mark's doing a little driving. So. That's right. <laughs> you know, actually, the place has a pretty cool little vibe. There's a lot of little chotskis you can buy and hang out and have a good time with. And now we're going to take you outside. There's a bunch of really cool little trees and green area and picnic tables. You'll love it, I think. Oh, look, they got Jenga sure. and cornhole and all the, all the things. Picnic tables. Look at this. These are little on um, the steep trees. They're so cute. Which is kind of cool. And they're of course, the Coup de Gras. Beautiful little grape fruit wine. Grapes of wrath. <laughs> so, Mark, tell us what you know about Arizona wines. Well, so uh, <laughs> you need a vine. Okay. And um, the goal is to get clusters okay. that you can actually pick off. When clusters you're ready. of what? Grapes. Oh, okay. Clusters of grapes. <laughs> clusters of grapes. So you can pick off and then you can press into various wines like Chardonnays and Merlots and Shiraz and <laughs> La Dida's. Shiraz and La Dida's. There you go. This place is super cute. It is super cute. I'm glad we came here. Perfect.